Hello, welcome back to my channel. You might notice that things are kind of a mess around me, but frankly, I was looking around my new apartment and there was no good place to film. So I decided to embrace the madness, sit on the floor, use the boxes as my background and just carry on with it. So today I'm gonna be doing a tag video. Hopefully things will be a little bit more organized by the next week that you see a video. If not, we'll be here again. I don't know, we'll find out. But I am doing a tag video today. I was tagged by Sam from Bargain Hunting Blonde to take part in this $5,000 luxury collection challenge. I believe this was started by a collaboration with Gwenny and Irene. I'll tag their videos down below where you're starting your collection over, you have $5,000, you cannot use Louis Vuitton, which, you know, I mean, that's okay for me because I don't have any Louis Vuitton anyway, but I know that that's definitely a good place to get a, like a good deal on SLG or something. So you can't use Louis Vuitton. And I mean, really with 5K, I mean, can you even go to Chanel? I, I mean, like to do a nice like starter collection? Yeah, you could. And I think that's one of the interesting things about this tag is like, would you just put it all towards one big bag or get a bunch of different things? I went with a bunch of different things. I was asking Sam about the rules of this and we agreed that you can get things on sale if you can currently buy it on sale, as and that is the price that you could go in there and buy it right now. Fortunately, I was able to find one of my favorite bags on sale. So, to get started. I have changed my mind on these things so many times, so I do have my computer in front of me on a box. So, let's see, how many things did I end up finding? One, two, three, four, five, six. I found six items that I would want to start my collection with. This would be a really nice base. I would buy all of these things and it kind of turned into a little bit of a wish list when I was doing the deep dive, trying to like get as much out of this 5K as possible. And I did want to have a really well-rounded collection from a bunch of different brands. And I wanted to go for brands that I already like. Like, so for example, I don't have anything from YSL and Gucci. It's not that I dislike these brands and there are definitely a few things from them that I like and would consider getting, but they've never, I mean, I haven't been motivated to yet. So I kind of wanted to be, you know, true to my collection in that way. So to begin, the first thing that I picked out is the Ferragamo box bag in the size medium. You might know that I have a green one. It's a large size. I did manage to get that one at 40% off, but right now you can buy the black box bag in a size medium from the Ferragamo store for $1,541. I love this bag. I think my only regret with my current purchase is that Nordstrom was advertising it as the medium size. They had they had it incorrectly labeled, incorrect measurements. When I got it, it was very clearly the large, and I took it to the Veracamo store to compare, and it was obviously the large one. But I decided to keep it because it was such an unusual color. I think the medium is a much better size. Absolutely, unless you carry, I mean, just a ton of stuff. I, I love my large. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna trash that bag too much and I really need to do a review for it, but it does become a black pit so quickly. And if I had to choose, I would go for the medium. So that is the very first bag on my list. Continuing with my $5,000 collection, I decided to go with the Fendi Montresor bag. This bag currently retails for $1,350. I decided to go with the little pink one because I think that would be really cute and it would kind of do what my Cream Velextra does for me right now. I am not usually that into bucket bags, but I feel like that the little ones are a little bit easier because you can wear it cross body, it's not too bulky. The thing I don't like about bucket bags is how I normally, I do really like top handle bags or cross body bags. The Montresor, because it's so cute and petite, but it can still fit a phone in there easily. It's like so cute, it has a little top handle, so you can take the strap off, they're both detachable, and you can still wear it cross body because like it, it's small enough that it still sits close to you. 
I will try to have all of these linked below if I can find them because yeah that's the idea that you could get all of these now for the current prices that I'm saying. So up next I'm gonna go with the Loewe it's a basket bag. The exact name is Small Square Basket Bag in Raffia and Calfskin. That bag retails for $650. I think it's super cute. I would love, honestly, I would love to get any of these. I would get all of them right now if I could spend the money. This really became a wishlist video very quickly as I was going into these things. But I think this bag would offer something different in the collection. Really great for those spring and summer days when maybe you're just running a few errands or if you're going to the park. I think the Loewe bags are really cute. So that is next on my list. Now for something a little different, I would go for, it's the Bottega new cassette size. It is very, very small. I'll pop a picture of all of these on the screen, but this one is, it's tiny. It can only fit a card holder, probably your keys. I mean, maybe, you know, like chapstick or something like that. It's very small. I love it in the forest green shade and this currently retails for $890. Now that is a good price I guess for a luxury handbag. It depends how you feel about not being able to carry your phone with you but for example I went to Costco this morning and the entire time my phone was in my back pocket because I was constantly pulling out. I was snapping my husband saying oh do we need this? What do you think about that? Comparing prices, going back to my list and stuff. So I could have easily had this bag with me no problem. I was actually carrying my really small um it's the Dior Addict bag, which you really can't, I mean, you can fit a phone in that bag, but you can't fit much else. And I didn't even bother putting my phone in it. So I could have easily had this bag with my card holder, my Costco card, my little paper list that I sometimes have, and my keys. I think it's super cute and I, I would definitely go for this one. And Bottega leather is amazing and it's definitely a really good place. That and Loewe, they immediately, I immediately, <laughs> oh, can't talk today too excited. I immediately thought of those brands when trying to get like the most for designer items like with a 5k budget. Now sticking with Bottega to really round out this collection, I would get my Bottega card holder. I have this in the lilac color, I think, well because you can't get that one anymore, it's sold out, but I would go for this cinnabar color or really they have so many good colors. But I'll put a picture up on the screen. It's like this kind of like a cross between like a raspberry and an oxblood. I love this color. I really want something from Bottega in this color, hopefully in the next few months. But I would get this card holder immediately for lambskin. It's held up really well. Suppose it's like it seems to be made up of calfskin and lambskin. The weaves, I believe, are always lambskin from Bottega, the woven leather. So I, I, yeah, I feel like this would be a really good wallet option. I haven't wanted to switch out of my, car, my card holder since getting it. So that's like a tried and true uh, luxury piece. For my last item, and I can't believe I have listed so many things. You know what I was thinking about when I was doing this tag? So the new cutesy mini Dior bags just came out and they are so cute. They're so cute. I have never been so tempted by a Lady Dior, but this thing is tiny. And I know I just said, oh, I can be fine without fitting my phone in a bag. However, this bag, oh, the little micro Lady Dior is $3,500. I mean, whereas, yeah, the Bottega one, it can't fit my phone, but it's 890. I feel like there's a huge difference. Also, I feel like the Lady Dior bag is so pretty I wouldn't be reaching for it with things like like with denim jeans where I can pop my phone in my back pocket whereas like the Bottega one is a lot more casual anyway that is really what I was thinking about when doing this tag so I'm just like wow I'm like I'm finding all of these things to make a really well-rounded collection for $500 and that one bag from Dior is like almost the entire budget I mean I mean, we're not even including tax, but like, wow. Anyway, I digress. For the last thing on my list, I would go for a Longchamp tote. I definitely consider this to be a luxury piece. They are about, uh, the one I found was $190. You can find that on sale, 
but I don't currently see any sales. And the one that I really like the look of, it's like a raspberry color. It is currently $190. And believe it or not, I'll have my math down below, but I think that leaves me with $89. I tried, I tried to get it as close as possible. And I did find one combination that left me with $4 left. Or like a couple other bags were switched out of this, but then I realized I didn't have a wallet and I would absolutely want that wallet. So yeah, okay. I, I am left with $89 and I suppose I would probably get a pouch or something. Um, you, for example, you can get the Longchamp pouches for $60 if you want to count that as one of my other items, but I, I wasn't really sure. Or that like, or a scarf, but again, they're like just over and not wanting to cheat too much with sales, I just decided to leave it there. So those are all of my items. On the day that I post this, I'm gonna tag some ladies over on Instagram because I always post when I put up a video over there on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know, did I pick what you expect? What would you have gone for? Would you wanna put everything into like one major item and just have that be kind of the foundation of your collection? Or would you wanna get a little, like a bunch of different pieces that you would use like on a typical day? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.